I would like to welcome you in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In the last session, I have discussed capacitive type level gauge, gamma rays level gauge, then ultrasonic type liquid level gauge and electrical type level gauge. Let me continue the session. Before starting the session, I request everyone to subscribe my channel. If the channel is really useful, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Moving on to the discussion. How do we measure the liquid level using laser? The full form of laser, the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. It is a source of coherent electromagnetic wave and uh, it is having the frequency range of 430 to 750 terahertz and the main source is the infrared rays. You can able to design and develop laser and uh, by using the laser you can able to measure the liquid level. How it can be done? Let us consider the diagram. Our ultimate goal is to measure the liquid level like this. And uh, D is the distance between the top layer of the beaker and the datum of the liquid. We have transmitter and the receiver. In the transmitter we are going to pass the laser. The laser will be directly reaches over the datum or the standard level of the liquid. And uh, it will come back to the receiver part. Depends on the height of the liquid. The time difference will be there to reach the laser from transmitter side to receiver side. That time will be measured. The time is very important. That means send the laser beam through glass window and reflected from the liquid surface and received back to the receiver end. There is a glass window. You can see a glass window. So here we are obeying the principle of, we are using the principle of reflection. Now, what is the relevance of time? Yes, there is a re relation. The time that is a function of that particular D. D is the distance between the upper layer of the tank or container and the standard height of the liquid. Or we can elaborate time is equal to 2D divided by C. Where C is the velocity of light and D is the distance from the liquid level. So time can be computed. So with respect to the time, you can able to decide what is the height of the liquid, what is the liquid level. So you are measuring the liquid level in terms of time. What are the advantages? Highly reliable method. There is no direct physical contact with the process material. That is a highly advantageous features because of risky fluids. Some fluids are totally harmful for the health. Definitely in such cases you can make use of liquid level measurement using laser technology. Operation free, operation is free from friction or spark and there is no moving part at all. Efficiency is very much high. What are the major drawbacks? The process material should be free from dust, moisture content etc. And also housing and glass window should be clean from dust free else your reading becomes wrong because it has to pass, laser has to pass through the glass now. Then accuracy depends on reflection characteristics that may depends on the type of liquid and uh, the reflection that also depending on that particular glass material, refractive index, everything matters a lot. What are the major applications? It can measure the liquid level of hazardous and poisonous liquid especially acids. It is not at all easy by using other methods. And the paper industries, one of the major advantages, paper, paper pulp, you, you, you might have heard about pulp, right? And in that particular cases, you can able to check the liquid level by using laser technology. And uh, the one another drawback is uh, la laser beam, if it is continuously operating with a particular person, that is somewhat harmful for the health. Another method is microwave level detector. First of all, let me talk about the microwave and its frequency. Here, uh, microwave which is in the range of microwave X band and K band of frequency in the range of 8 to 12.5 gigahertz is employed. There are different methods to generate the microwaves. The external device is used to produce the microwave. Of course, we have to purchase that. Microwave signals do not pass through the metals. That is a, one of the major, major a uh, remarkable point but it can pass through the vessels having the wall of fiber glass plastic etc and the ceramic also consider the diagram our ultimate target is to measure the liquid level 
you can able to see the process material it may be solid particle or liquid or whatever it may be and uh, we have a microwave transmitter there is a microwave source here we have a microwave receiver and uh, what you are supposed to do is we require a microwave window for the transmitter end and also that the receiver inside also there is a microwave window so through that you are going to pass microwave microwave beam through the microwave window at a desired frequency then you are going to measure the time taken to reach the microwave from this particular point to the receiver inside transmitter to receiver inside the time will be computed how long it will reach suppose if there is no liquid it will reach very fastly if there are liquid level certain liquid level it blocks the movement of that particular microwave at that time you will come to know what is the time duration so time duration will be measured clear what are the major advantages no affected by the dust foam and mist applicable for conductive and non conductive process material and uh, operation is free from friction there is no moving part so no headache about friction there is no worries about friction what are the major uh, setbacks major setbacks are complex construction uh, it is quite expensive generation of microwave is not an easy task what are the major application it is mainly used for detecting the liquid level of coal mineral vegetable pulp it can be used in thermal power station and useful for detecting toxic and hazardous material so these are the major applications of a microwave level detector so in this video i have discussed about what do you mean by microwave level detector what are the major purposes of microwave level detector initially i have given a brief overview about microwave how do you produce the microwave what is the frequency of microwave frequency range in the uh, of microwave and uh, especially x band and k band frequency ranges are employed and uh, microwave supports the certain material like glass plastic ceramic it won't support metal metal will not be used for the passage of microwave that point you have to use therefore we are going to use a microwave transmitter it is made up of ceramic or glass any type of material can be used except metal then you will be measuring the time to reach the signal uh, traveling from transmitter to receiver so based on that you will be computing the liquid level it's an indirect method purely indirect method and uh, in the previous method we have found about laser what is the laser technology we have learned and uh, how do you measure uh, the time how do you measure the time uh, from the transmitter to receiver and side with respect to the time you are going to decide the liquid level this method is known as uh, liquid level measurement using the laser technique so these are the different indirect method which you can able to measure uh, the liquid level so i'll be concluding if you are having any questions you can put up in the comment box surely i am going to revert and if you need the notes i am going to share with you finally thanks for watching this video have a good day